Hi YouTube, this is the Poetry Ninja, giving you a video that I felt has been needed to be addressed for quite some time in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. And that's, what can be done to make Yu-Gi-Oh! better? And what can we do to get more people involved? Well guess what? You're already the problem. Because a lot of people that ask this question are meta players. And the problem about Yu-Gi-Oh! right now is there's way too much focus on the meta. And when you do that, you make the game too serious, you make the game way too structured, and you make it a big money thing. And it shouldn't be a money thing whatsoever. It should be something fun, should be something for everybody to get involved with, and it should be something that would draw people in. Because if you draw people away from any sort of anything, you're going to lose support, you're going to lose momentum, and the whole thing will die off quicker than you can think about it. So, what can be done to save this, stop it from ever happening, and getting more people that loved the game back into it, is follow these five steps that I've discovered in my journey through life and I didn't follow them until I really started paying attention to some of my friends who have been following them and I don't think that they realize it that they're following these five steps but they exhibit all five of those every day and all at the same time so let's get started step number one is play your own way don't play the meta as I've already stated before, play a deck that fits you. And in fact, the creator of Yu-Gi-Oh! said that in a book once, that a deck should be the mirror of your own soul. So play a deck, doesn't matter if you have all the stuff for it, um, make sure that it fits who you are inside, fits you as a person fits all of the likes and interests that you have in life and make it happen. Now, say you don't have a lot to go with, you don't quite know what's going on, step number two comes in. And step number two is work with what you got. What I mean by this is say you're dueling someone and they bring out an X seed or a synchro and you can't stand exceeds and synchros because they're brand new you don't understand them guess what you gotta adapt just like how human beings have adapted for centuries and have and because of our ancestors of human beings we've gotten this far and have been able to become the most powerful creature on this planet so, enough about science. This isn't a science video, this is a Yu-Gi-Oh! video. <laughs> so, work with what you got. Doesn't matter if it's in a duel or outside of a duel either, because, say you don't have a lot of stuff, work with what you got, because you might find some really cool stuff out of stuff that you didn't even think could be possible. So, next time you go through your extra cards or go through your trades, read through some of your stuff and think about how they could be used in a duel really effectively because if you don't do that you'll become a another person that's into the meta and I will not I will not sugarcoat this you'll become a brainwashed person focused on the meta and just playing uh I summon activate destroy your card I win. Not the way to play. So, work with what you got, because you might find some really cool stuff. Now say, you don't have a lot to go with, and you're looking for one specific card that you know will make your deck shine. Guess what? Step number three comes in. And that is, help each other. And I mean this in a really positive way. So you got a group of friends and you're looking for a certain thing. You know a friend of yours has cards that would effectively get stuff that you can get that or that you can't get on your own. 
guess what? You create a trade group, everybody works with one another. Everybody trades outside of each other and gets the stuff that everybody needs. And then things go great. Uh, now say you don't have a trade group started, well, it's never too late. Um, but again, also, say you don't have a lot of money, um, and there's a lot of people that have stuff. You know, some people, and especially you, if you have a lot of cards that you just don't like or don't need anymore, well, maybe it wouldn't hurt to give a little, too. And I've realized I've become a very greedy person in my life about cards, but at this point in time, I've been giving away so many of my own cards for prize giveaways, for getting people into different tournaments of my own, or just for the sake of it, just giving cards. And it really feels good. It <laughs> and that's why in some... I'm sorry to go off topic again. In some Christmas shows, in Christmas specials, a lot of people realize it's a lot better to give than receive. Because when you give to someone who actually really appreciates it, they thank you immensely, and they really go for it, and they really care about it every single day that they see it or use it. So, in this sense, um, don't be like some people that I've seen at tournaments where they open up a pack after the tournament's done, they don't see the stuff that they're looking for, they throw it in the trash. That's despicable. Take those cards that you think that you want to throw away because they're no good to me, they're no use to me. Give them to somebody who actually might benefit from them. Because I've seen cards that people have thrown away that I've been looking for, and my friends have been looking for, and nobody wants to go digging through the trash. So don't make people dig in the trash. Give those cards away to somebody who would actually like them. Or... Better yet, give them to the shop, because the shop is always looking for stuff in their inventory. So, <laughs> just make something out of it. Um, now, the last two steps are kind of hand-in-hand, hand, but they're their own separate categories, because if you don't follow them separately, you're going to have some problems. So, step number four. I think is the most important step to follow, and that is, be positive. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just be positive about everything. Be positive about the stuff that you get out of your packs, be positive about all of your duels, whether you win or lose them, and just be very positive about everything that you do in Yu-Gi-Oh! Because I've seen way too many of my friends quit the game because they're not positive about all of their wins or all of their losses or all the stuff that they've uh, got because there's a f there's one friend that I have and been with throughout high school and throughout college that's a great duelist a really great duelist he's not positive about everything because oh I just lose all the time that's not how you should act, ever. You should be positive about everything, because once you're positive about it all, you become a great person, and you become really into Yu-Gi-Oh!, which is but <laughs> I think is the main thing that I've already stre stressed about at the beginning of this video. People aren't positive because they're stuck in the metas, and they're... <laughs> they just don't have a positive feeling about everything. So be positive about everything, which will open up the door for so many things. If you're positive about everything, you wouldn't follow a meta, you would follow step number one, play your own style. And you'd know how to work with what you got, step number two, and <laughs> you'd be able to help everybody else out, which is step number three. So it goes all hand in hand. 
And it all kind of comes to this final part, which is step number five, and that's have fun. <laughs> Don't need to say too much about that. Just have fun. Because I've seen too many people, again, because of the meta, just be really stiff. Really, oh, play this. Oh, you destroyed my card. Mm. That's not fun. You're not having fun. It's a game. And games are meant to be played while having fun. So, again, those five steps. Step number one, play your own style. Step number two, work with what you got. Step number three, help each other out. Step number four, be positive. And step number five, have fun. If you follow all five of those steps, you should be able to see a lot of things become great for you in Yu-Gi-Oh! And if you help everyone else follow those five steps, you'll make Yu-Gi-Oh! not only great for you, not only great for that person, but great all as a whole in the world. So I thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions about anything, now granted I can't answer everything, but just shoot a comment down below and I'll try my best to answer. If you want to say something positive, put it down here. If not, say goodbye to it. Uh, if you liked this video, give it a like. If you really liked this video, make it a favorite. And if you want to see future videos of mine, Go ahead and subscribe. I don't know where it is anymore, because YouTube just keeps changing it every now and then. And again, as I always say at the end of my inspirational videos or any other video, remember, poetry is power. And I'll see you guys next time.